I'm Jared Spangler. I'm a butcher. I need your support to bring the first whole animal locally sourced butcher shop to Southern Maine. This shop has been my dream for years. After training at the Culinary Institute of America and cooking in top restaurants from coast to coast, I traveled to Italy and worked with some of the finest old world butchers. I learned firsthand of the vital connection these craftsmen make between their farmers and their communities. I want to bring that vitality to Kittery, Maine. I think Jared's Butcher Shop is going to really provide a critical link um, between local farms and the people in our community who really value healthy local food. This is Christine Bennett. She's executive director of the Kittery Land Trust. I'm just thrilled that Jared is going to be doing this. I can't imagine anyone wouldn't want to invest in, in this business. It's going to be small, it's going to be sustainable, and it's going to be such a, a, a great boost. I want to bridge the gap between farmers and consumers and create a consistent outlet to ensure our local farm's future for generations to come. My shop is located in Kittery Foreside, convenient to locals and visitors. Contractors have already started construction. I've raised the funds I need to finish construction and your support will go to the purchase of equipment I need to open my doors. To raise animals, really good grass-fed animals, is only grass, what, seven months out of the year, eight months out of the year? You have to get really crafty with it. The way a sheep farmer has to think is he thinks first about being a grass farmer. This is Master Shepherd Tom Settlemeyer. He helps Seth Crowick manage his flock of sheep at Crystal Spring Farm in Brunswick, Maine. We're one of the few here in Maine that are really going for an all forage based system, trying to do it as naturally and as sustainable as we can and to, uh, in fact, produce a product that will be good for us because what we're serving to other people is what we eat ourselves. So you're the kind of store that you have or planning on having is just right, right in line with that. The thing that makes these animals 10 times more delicious than you normal know, supermarket beef is that these animals have actually been out on pasture. This is how we think that they should live they should have quality of life every day of their life. They need a nice, dry, clean place to lay down. They need plenty to eat, and they need good, fresh water. This is Raz Caldwell. Oh, a good day to be out, huh? This is Dee Dee Caldwell. Together, they run Caldwell Family Farm in Turner, Maine. A lot of people will talk about using local, but Jared, you know, talks the talk and walks the walk. He makes an effort to make your product work. A lot of people, unfortunately, want the whole buzz with local, but aren't really truly there helping their farmers. But Jerry is one that will make every angle of it work for both of you, and that's really rare. Boy, to have somebody like you want to look at main products and to make that work is a really valuable process for farms like ours. Jared wants his business to run, but he wants to help the farmer. And he always, you know, if I had any issues or things I was dealing with, he was always very forthcoming, what can I do to help? I'm here for you. And not everybody will do that. I'm asking for your support to better our community, to support a local business whose mission is to support the local farmer. I want to bridge the gap between these farms and your table. At the end of the day, it's about bringing local meat back to the table. And one more thing, special thanks to Caldwell Farm, Crystal Spring Farm, Seacoast musician Steve Roy, and especially to craft butchery in Saugatuck, Connecticut. Be a part of something greater and help secure our farmers' futures for generations to come.